hear it. I get really uh, blown away by Buddhism and by Buddhist teachers because when they're teaching you, what you're experiencing is not just something happening in language, but you're experiencing this strange ball of healing energy that is emerging from the past and has been transmitted from one from teacher to student to teacher to student to te- I don't it's a they call it the disciplic tran- transmission is one word for it and whenever you get to come into contact with these beings whether it's through a conversation if you're lucky enough to have one with them or through their writings or through people who have met them, then you always get this, I can't explain it, but you always get this little magical burst of transcendent energy that they inject into you and they use language as kind of the box that they store the energy in as the capsule or the membrane that surrounds the energy but the words always become irrelevant compared to the effect that the energy has on you and in buddhism this is the dharma the dharmic transmission i guess is what they call it i'm sure they have a lot of I, i'm not going to pretend i always pretend like i know the names for this stuff but i'm sure there's a name that they have for it it's the very same thing that happens when you come across someone who uh really loves you and you get that feeling of being loved for a second. It wakes you up to the realization that the universe isn't such a rough and tumble, dreadful, wretched, muddy old place where everyone's just trying to get an extra punch in before the Grim Reaper drags them down into hell. You realize that, in fact, in the universe, there are parts of the universe, human beings, these compassionate spokes in a whole different set of gears that runs a whole different kind of universe than the one that you might be accustomed to if you're somebody who tends to get lost in self-hate or hatred of others, or if you're someone who tends to feel despair or like you just can't do this shit anymore. And even if you could do this shit anymore, it's a kind of pointless endeavor anyway, because the whole goddamn thing is just a giant mound of festering pointlessness and human beings are the flies flying around it and dining on the hopelessness as though there were a delicious steak dinner when in fact it's just a kind of existential shit that we're all buzzing around on that's one universe you can get stuck in and these teachers out there like sharon salzberg they're people who can sort of pull your head out of the toilet bowl, so to speak, and allow you at least momentarily to experience a universe that isn't one where you are soaking in shit water. And that's a very powerful and incredible thing that these people do. And I think that it's a beautiful and wonderful part of the universe, as beautiful and wonderful as sunsets, sunrises, uh, as beautiful and wonderful as uh, the smell of flowers, as beautiful and wonderful as rivers running through uh, mountains. It's the very same kind of, you know what I was looking for there? Natural beauty. That's what these people uh, put out. They, they're they human beings who have become possessed with a kind of natural beauty that comes through their teachings. And whenever you get to catch a, a little taste of it, whenever you get to catch that smell of it, whenever you get to you, you get the same feeling that you get when you are out in the woods and everything's quiet except for the wind blowing through the trees and the sound of the birds singing and this sort of sort of soaring expansiveness and hopefulness fills up your heart and it feels like this terrible heaviness that you've been carrying around with you is lifted off momentarily and in that moment of experiencing that kind of spiritual zero gravity state that these people allow you to or or teach you to feel or open up for you 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 regain the uh, hope that you might have lost if you've been slogging through the muddy fields of delusion 
which are so easy to slot to find yourself stuck in. Maybe hope's the wrong word for it. Maybe what they do is they show you who you really are, which is you are the same thing that is a river flowing through mountains. You're the same thing that is wind blowing through a forest. You're composed of the identical quantum material that makes up all of nature and Nature is beautiful. Nature doesn't make mistakes. Nobody looks at a sunset and thinks, God, that sunset really isn't working hard enough today. You just think, wow, that's a beautiful sunset. Look at the moon. No one looks at the moon and thinks, God, Jesus, it just really seems to have fallen off lately in the way that it's shining up there through the clouds. It used to be so much more connected with its moon-like qualities. You just think it's a beautiful moon. And you're made of the same stuff. And these heli these they're healers. I wonder, I don't think there's much of a difference between a teacher and a healer. And the healing is the... Uh, that they do is by helping you just for a second come out of the amnesia uh, that has caused you to forget that you are the sunset and the sunrise and the moon and the mountains and the rivers and the f flowers and the muskrats. Uh, even muskrats. Are, maybe you're not a muskrat. They're not so cute. I guess they're kind of cute. Whatever it is out there, you're the same thing. You're just as welcome to this party as the most beautiful mountain and as the most as the deepest, most refreshing river and as any other component of nature. You're just as welcome to the party. And instead of s moping around in the corner, feeling like you don't fit in here, these teachers invite you to start dancing again. And I'm really grateful that they exist. 